creamy, buttery goodness. A mashed potato. I always say to the chefs that work for me, most housewives can make a mashed potato. In fact, they all can. So if we're doing it, we have to do it. So it's incredible. Let me show you how. What we've got is some Yukon gold potatoes. They're kind of halfway between a waxy and a starchy potato. Peeled them, cut them into cubes, into cold water. Let's get the heat on and get them cooking. As soon as a knife goes in, just pops out okay. Cooked potato, right? Easy, we can get that far. Now, in a restaurant we would use a mooli or a potato ricer. Most people probably won't have one of those, but you've probably got a sieve and you've probably got a potato masher. So let's keep it simple and use those two pieces of equipment. Over here I've got some melted butter, I've got some milk, I've got some cream, and look, nutmeg, that's key, really, really important that, that it goes in there. And I've got some good salt there. I'm not using iodized salt. Iodized salt's gonna do us no flavors at all. In fact, it's got no flavor, it's just horrible. Find a salt that you love, Himalayan, Maldon, Murray River, there's lots of great salts. There's even a New Zealand Marlborough salt. So, you know, let's get these potatoes cooking. So I just want to see that the knife and the potato breaks, which it is. Let's get them off the heat. Off. Just strain them off. shake to get that excess water out. There we go. Back into the pot. Now we're going to put them back on the heat. Because if you look in here, you can see there's still a little bit of water in there and we want to get that gone. Whilst that's happening over here, I'm going to heat a pot up and I'm adding some milk, just a little bit, and also some cream. Goes in there like that. It's going to richen it up. And I've also got some melted butter here, which will go in too. Now we want to get some butter and we want to get some cream in there because that's fat and that's going to help lower the glycemic index. Now I'm going to get some grated nutmeg in there just to add to the flavour. And we're going to heat that up and make sure you put your milk and cream into a reasonable sized pot so when it starts to bubble up it doesn't boil over and you turn it off the moment it does. Now you can see that this pot is now looking dry so we've dried our potatoes out which is good and here we go. Over here the potatoes have dried out I've got my potato masher Now, you could just mash them, but we want silky, creamy, smooth, buttery potato. So I'm going to put them through the fine sieve. Now, if you've got a potato ricer or you've got a mooli, put it on a fine, on the finest uh, mesh that you can, and you could just wind them through. Now, I've just got a ladle. Into here, and I'm going to push them through. Now, this takes a little bit longer, but will pay dividends. Now, remember, no potato is created the same, so they'll all take different times to cook, depending on the variety that you get. And I'm using Yukon Gold. See, it's just about gone there, and it's going down into the pot. Don't forget about your cream and milk that's on the stove. And you can see here it's come up to the heat and I will just turn that off. First thing I want to do is get the melted butter in there. Get that combined in there. Now 
Now every potato mix is going to be slightly different. So we're going to start adding our milk and cream mixture, which is still hot. And we're going to stir that in like that. And we're going to decide how creamy we want these potatoes. So slowly to start off with, and then you can increase the speed. And you can just see how creamy they are. See the nutmeg in there. And at this stage, I don't have any salt or pepper in there. There we go, got a lovely creamy potato. Now to finish off, put some cracked pepper in there. And I'm gonna crunch and almost grind with my fingers the seasoning salt. As I said before in plenty of my videos, I love May River salt. But you need to have your favourite salt, right? Mix not too much to start off with, and then mix it in properly, and then have a taste. I'm sure as hell going to make sure they taste delicious. Well, wow, they're good. They are good. Yeah, Mr. Cameraman. Are you ready? Good? Alright. Happy days. Please subscribe, hit the like button if you thought this was kind of okay. Love you everybody and thank you so much for watching, it's been fun doing this video.